more than 10 million dead, many from the infection of their wounds. After the war, research intensified to find safe methods of repelling the bacterial invaders. Among those on the case was Scottish physician Alexander Fleming. While studying Staphylococcus bacteria, Fleming noticed something unusual growing in the culture dish, a mold, Penicillium notatum. He saw that the bacteria surrounding the mold had died off, which led him to speculate the mold was producing a substance that was lethal to the bacteria. He named the substance penicillin. For the next several years, Fleming tried extracting penicillin and applying it to treat infections. But he was unsuccessful and eventually gave up. Fleming's work, however, proved invaluable. In 1935, scientists Howard Florey and Ernst Chain at Oxford University came across a record of Fleming's curious but incomplete work with penicillin and decided to investigate. This time, they successfully extracted and purified penicillin. And in 1940, they tested it. They injected eight mice with lethal doses of the bacteria Streptococci. Then they injected four of the mice with penicillin. Within hours, they beheld the results. The four mice not treated with penicillin were dead, but three of the four that had been given penicillin were alive. From Fleming to Florian Chain, the world's first antibiotic was born. It was a miracle drug. It cured so many diseases that had caused so much pain and suffering. Strep throat, rheumatic fever, scarlet fever, syphilis and gonorrhea. It was things that we wouldn't even think about today should kill you. And the discovery of penicillin arrived just in time. In the Pacific, in mortal combat against a fanatic foe... During World War II, penicillin was distributed to the Western Allies. It saved the lives of countless Allied soldiers. Who knows? Without penicillin, the outcome of the war might have been quite different. 